Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and in today's video it's a little bit different to my normal daily Manchester United content it's a Premier League predictions video I'm going to be predicting in this video how I think the Premier League will finish and to be honest it's going to be really interesting because it's almost like a whole new season within a season it's almost like a little World Cup tournament within the season so it's actually going to be really hard to predict how the Premier League is going to exactly finish but I thought you know I'll do my predictions from 20th to 1st who's going to get top four who's going to get relegated who's going to win the title if it's not obvious enough already and just my general predictions video so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football if you're new so you don't miss daily Manchester United and general football content from me now first things first I've noticed in Germany which is going to affect a lot of my predictions that smaller teams have been struggling without the crowds I just thought that they don't have that crowd to push them and I think it's going to affect smaller teams I think teams with better squads on paper will benefit more I think from this because the quality will it's all about the quality on the pitch not the fans pushing you on so you know some clubs are going to have a massive disadvantage this could affect the likes of Sheffield United even less to having great seasons this could affect Norwich even more and you could even say it gives teams like Manchester City an advantage who are used to playing without many fans in the ground so it's going to affect a few teams in positive and negative ways but let's get straight into my predictions and stop with my rambling now 20th I love the way they play they're a nice team, they don't spend lots of money, it was always certain they were probably going to go down, they didn't spend enough, and that is Norris. They've come in, they've played some brilliant football, Todd Cantwell, Buendia have been excellent this season, Max Aaron's coming through, but they're just too far behind the others. You see, from 18th to 15th, it's all quite close, but they're just, what, just too far behind at the bottom, I just think they're going to come last. And straight up in 19th, it's a team, that, again, that's quite small and I like, and everyone thought they'd get relegated every season and they've always done better than expectations but this is Bournemouth. Eddie Howe is a great manager but I just think you know they've been in the Premier League longer than expected I just think they will go down and you know it's, it's really hard to call from 18th to really 15th especially because it could be any of those clubs but I think it's going to be Bournemouth and the last team in the relegation battle which I think is the team that's going to be fighting it's going to go down to the wire the last day and that is Aston Villa. I just think they're going to go down because it's really, I just don't know if Greenish can save them by himself. But then, you know, lots of new signings had more time to gel so they could go on a run. They've got some difficult fixtures coming up. I just don't think they're going to stay up. Now, who's going to just stay up? And for me, I've gone with Brighton. I just think, I feel like Aston Villa kind of have a better squad than them on paper. But I just think Brighton and Aston Villa are going to be fighting to the final day. I like Graham Potter play some interesting football but they just brighten they just stretch out results really in 16th i have gone for watford and you know what if you had said where would watford be a few months ago i would have said relegated but nigel pearson's come in and he's done a great job he did that great escape with leicester he's a manager that knows what he's doing they've been playing so well before the break i think that watford will stay up you know lately they've been brilliant you know they've got a good midfield kapue it's a core i i think watford will stay up but I do think it'll be close but I think Nigel Pearson is the right man for the job and they've you know they beat Liverpool 3-0 in, in their last game they, he just looks like the right man for the job 15th I've gone for West Ham now West Ham have had a shock of the season and it's up to David Moyes to turn it around now this is an advantage for West Ham because you know they've had more time with their new manager to adapt to get used to him and I think West Ham have the quality of the squad on paper to stay up you know they actually probably have maybe the 10th best squad in the league you know Halla, Felipe Anderson they have a pretty decent squad and I think without the fans a lot of it's going to come down to the quality of the squad more and I think West Ham have that quality in their squad to stay up and you know if they don't stay up it would be quite embarrassing. 14th I've gone with Southampton who were awful at the start of the season but they've looked quite good lately Danny Ings is banging the goals I think you know they won't be threatened by relegation I think they'll be, they'll be that team that you know, will be safe with two, three games to go and they'll be quite comfortable, but mid-table finish about 14th. 13th, I've gone with Newcastle. Now, you know, this time last year when Mike Ash Mike Ashley got rid of Rafa and Steve Bruce came in, everyone said that Newcastle relegated. Like, Newcastle are probably quite surprised by the season. I don't think they were expecting as good of a season. You know, it's like not an amazing season, but I think, you know, it's better than what they expected. And I think 13th is a pretty decent finish for Newcastle. You know, Steve Bruce, I think he's done a pretty good job. And I think, you know what, 13th is when Newcastle will come. 12th, I've gone with Crystal Palace, who started the season really well. I think, you know, 
Roy Hodgson's getting the best out of that squad. I think they've been pretty decent this season. You know, they've got, they got a few good players like Saha in there. And you know what? I think they'll come 12. I don't think... I think they'll just be mid-table. But I think it's actually a decent season for Crystal Palace. I've also been really impressed with Ayu this season. 11th, Burnley. Again, Burnley surprising me. I thought they wouldn't finish this high in 11th. I mean, they might not finish in 11th, you know. But like, Burnley, they just seem to grind out results. And they seem to do alright against the big six. Like, they're just so annoying to play. Whenever they come to Old Trafford, we just lose or draw. I just... You know what? Burnley, I've, I've been surprised with them this season. I think they've actually been pretty good. I think they'll come 11th. 10th, Everton. Carlo Angelotti, new manager. Everton have the quality. You know, they're probably in the top 10 best squads in the league. I think Carlo Angelotti will bring them into that top 10. They've, you've seen how Dominic Carver-Lewin's massively improved under Angelotti. We've seen how Everton's improved. I think Everton should get in the top 10 at the way they're going. Again, I think a lot of this is going to... Um, depend on quality because there's no crowds and I think a squad with Everton's quality should almost do better and I think I just feel like I've seen it with the Bundesliga as I've mentioned earlier that quality in the squad is is more of an advantage now without the fans because I just feel like smaller teams in the Bundesliga seem to struggle more without the fans pushing them on and I think Everton they've got that quality in that squad and I think they'll do quite well. Ninth Sheffield United now it's been a brilliant season for Sheffield United and you know what, I would love them to keep it up, but I just can't see them keeping it up. And I think they will drop behind Arsenal and Spurs and finish ninth. But it'll still be a brilliant season for them. Um, you know, Chris Wilder's done a great job. They've got some great players in there. They play some great football. But I think without the fans, they might struggle. You know, this break could break their consistency. I'd love them to do well, but I think they'll come ninth. Eighth, and I can already see like loads of people going to dislike this video, but it's going to be Arsenal. Arte Arteta's unbeaten in 2020. Yes, Arteta's come in and he's done a good job. You know, you have the squad that should be in the top six. But you have some hard fixtures coming up. You've got like Man City to play, Liverpool to play, Wolves to play, Sheffield United to play. You know what? I just think, you know, you're going to write off the season. You're going to come eighth. But then you've got the summer transfer window. You've got Arteta. Next season will be a better season for Arsenal. But I, I can't see you getting into the top four. And to be honest, you know what? If you beat Man City when the Premier League resumes... Then maybe I'll be wrong, maybe you've got more of a chance, but I don't know, I'm just, I don't see it, Arsenal fans, I'm sorry. In seventh, I've gone with Wolves. Again, Wolves have had a brilliant season, I think they're in sixth right now. They came seventh last season, I think they'll come seventh again, just because they, I don't know, they have the quality, they have the top ten quality in there, but again, about the fans, I think the fans are a massive part of Wolves, you know, they're always really good at home hard team to go to at home but I think you know teams like Man United have got Rashford and Pogba back teams like Spurs have got Kane and Son back and I think you know Wolves are just going to fall behind them now and sit I've gone with Spurs they've got Kane they've got Son back they've had more time under Jose Mourinho I think they'll get top six I don't think they'll get top four unless they beat United first game back but I, I don't know I just They've been very inconsistent. It's a bit, it's been a poor season for Spurs. However, this break could be a good thing for them because they can actually like have this break to rebuild, refresh, get their players back. So, you know, it could be tight. I think six to third is going to be really tight. And then fifth. Now, fifth is going to be the most controversial one of this video. And I really want this team to finish in the top four. And, you know, they are actually eight points away from fifth with nine games to go. But I've gone with Leicester in fifth. And you might be thinking I'm mad and crazy. And, you know, what? I really hope I'm wrong. I want Leicester to finish in the top four but again as i said so many times in this video without the fans i feel like you know they've had a massive break they've got to build up that momentum again they have the quality in the squad to finish in the top four and i think you know it's going to be really close between leicester chelsea man u wolves spurs arsenal but i just i hope they don't but i have this feeling they're going to drop out because i just i don't know i could be wrong i just i just have this feeling but you know what, like, you know, it is eight points. They got Manchester United last game of the season and that could be a decider for fourth, which is crazy. The last game of the season, Man U Leicester, could be a decider for top four. Leicester's last three games are like Sheffield United, Manchester United and like Spurs. They've also still got to play Arsenal. They have some difficult fixtures and I, I can just see them dropping some points. But you know what, I think it's going to be really close and I actually hope I'm wrong because I'd love to see Leicester in the Champions League. Now on fourth, I've gone with Chelsea. I think, you know what, Frank Lampard's had some inconsistencies, but he's had a brilliant first season, losing his best player, bringing through all these youth players. I would, I think Chelsea have outperformed this season. Could that cut shot with them? 
I'm not sure. I do think they're going to get Champions League football. I think, you know, Tammy Abraham, he start, Tammy Abraham, he started really well. Then he was poor his last five, six, seven games. But maybe this break will be good for him. Maybe he'll get his goal scoring boots back on. They've had more time with the manager. I think Chelsea will come fourth. I just think they have that mentality to play without the crowds. And then third, I know it's a little ambitious. And maybe I'm just too ambitious in my team, but that is Manchester United. Before the break, we're on 11 game on beaten streak. And since the rival Bruno Fernandes, we've got 11 out of 15 points in the Premier League with the best goal difference. Only Liverpool have got more points than us in 12. And since the rival of Bruno Fernandes, you know, we've been excellent. You've got to think that we beat Chelsea, we beat Man City, we drew Everton, drew Wolves, beat Norwich in those five games. So they're not the easiest games apart from Norwich. And we just look like a whole new team, not to mention that Rashford and Pogba have not been part of this team with Bruno Fernandes. I just think... Uh, maybe I'm being a bit too ambitious in Manchester United because we are very inconsistent, but we have the third best squad in the league on paper, and I think we can push to third, but I could be wrong. And in second, Manchester City, you know, they're used to playing without the fans, so, you know, they might challenge Liverpool more, but Liverpool are way too far ahead. Now, I think Manchester City will be in second, pretty self-explanatory, and of course, in first, bloody Liverpool. In fairness, I don't... Obviously, I'm a Man United fan. I don't want Liverpool to win it, but they deserve to win it. They have been excellent this season. They've been amazing. One of the, the best teams in the league. You know, they only drop points to United and Watford. They've just been so good this season. I think that Klopp has done a brilliant job with that Liverpool squad. He didn't spend that much money in the summer, if anything, really. And, you know, they, they fully deserve the league, as much as I hate to say it. Liverpool have been amazing. So that is my Premier League predictions. How I predict the season's going to finish. Maybe I'll go react to this after the season finishes, but this could be really wrong because it's almost like a little World Cup tournament within the season because it's just going to be played over six weeks every day and it's just going to be so weird to predict. It's almost like a new season of inner season. You know, Norwich could go on this amazing streak. I think it's going to be amazing to watch the Premier League resume. So if you haven't already and you can't wait for football to resume, smash that like button. Subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football if you're new so you don't miss daily Manchester United related content from me with the occasional video like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.